Building a beam with Lego pieces might seem like a simple game, but in reality, it's a small lesson in structural physics. By joining three ladder-shaped pieces, over and over, and then connecting them, we're not just making a strip of blocks, we're building a beam. It may sound complex, but a beam is simply a bar that resists forces applied perpendicularly to its axis. And even if it looks fragile, that Lego beam follows the same rules engineers use to design houses, bridges, and buildings. How easily it bends depends on four things. The applied force, the material of the pieces, the moment of inertia, which relates to the shape, and most importantly, the length. Because the longer the beam, the easier it is to bend. Try it yourself. A short beam stays firm. A longer one? It gives way with just a touch. And if you want to feel it more clearly, do the test. Take a short Lego beam and try to bend it with your fingers. It resists. Now build one that's exactly the same, just longer. You'll notice how easily it curves. That happens because as length increases, the moment created by the force also increases. In other words, the same force has more leverage to bend it. Engineers know this and calculate it carefully. It's not just the shape or the material that matters, it's also the length of the piece that has to resist. Watch what happens when I shorten the beam. Now it's harder to bend. What seems so easy to curve is now much stiffer. It still bends, but much less. With Legos, we learn that beams don't fail just because they're weak. Sometimes they fail simply because they're too long without proper support, and that's where physics becomes tangible. Brick by brick, then when I increase the length again, the beam feels like paper. So with just a few orange blocks, seemingly just a toy, we discover that even Legos have something to say about how the real world works.